Hi, welcome to Where's the Action? I'm your host, Ross Benjamin. I will be previewing my early look at my 2014-2015 NHL Eastern Conference Power Rankings. Yes, I know the NHL season just ended less than a week ago, but folks, the sports books have put out some numbers on both the Eastern and Western Conference future odds as well as Stanley Cup odds, which I touched upon just yesterday. Let's get into my Eastern Conference power rankings. I'm not going to go through all 16 teams, but if you want to read my take on all 16 teams, they're ranked in order as far as my strength of power rating. You can go to sbrforum.com to read that article. Right now, I'm going to quickly take you through my top four teams in my early power rankings at Eastern Conference. My number one team, the Boston Bruins. This is a team that won the Stanley Cup in 2011, advanced to the Stanley Cup Finals in 2013, and this past season was a President's Trophy winner in the NHL. The President's Trophy goes to the team that accumulates the most points during the regular season. Boston management has done a terrific job of keeping this core group of players intact. Next year will be no different. Boston, like I said, they came off a huge regular season where they accumulated the most points of any team in the NHL, but they were upset in the Eastern Conference semifinals by the Montreal Canadiens in seven games. I look for Boston to be a force to be reckoned with again next season. My number two team on the list, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Now, based on talent alone, you have to rank Pittsburgh just behind Boston. I have to, anyway. And just for the fact that when you look at this lineup, top to bottom, a lot of talent. The problem with Pittsburgh at postseason time over the last couple seasons has been their goaltending. Mark Andre Fleury has proven to be a very good goaltender during the regular season. But when it comes to postseason time, his play has been nothing short of erratic. The Penguins blew a 3-1 series lead in the Eastern Conference semifinals versus the Rangers this year and were eliminated, which resulted in their general manager being fired as well as their head coach, Dan Bielsma. I would be shocked if the Penguins don't go out and get a top-notch goaltender in the offseason, whether that be through free agency or via a trade. My number three team on the list, the Tampa Bay Lightning, that team that overachieved last year and surprised everybody, may have been the surprise team in all the NHL beside the Colorado Avalanche in the Western Conference. But boy, just a little bit of tough luck after having a great regular season and Ben Bishop, their starting goaltender, having a phenomenal year for the Lightning. Bishop got injured at the end of the regular season, was not able to participate in the playoffs, and that really hindered their chances and they dropped their opening round series versus the Canadians in six games. My fourth team on the list, and if you read my Stanley Cup future odds article, you saw this team as one of my sleepers, the New York Rangers. The Rangers were 15 to 1 to win it all. They're 7 and 1 to advance out of the Eastern Conference in 2015 to advance to the Stanley Cup Finals. Elaine Vigneault did a terrific job in his first year behind the bench with the Rangers after coming over from Vancouver. And this team figures to be even stronger next year with Vigneault's system firmly in place for the second year and an all-star goaltender, top-notch, world-class goaltender in Henrik Lundqvist. Those are my top four teams in my Eastern Conference power ratings. Once again, folks, you want to take on all 16 teams in the Eastern Conference, you can read my article simply by going to sbrforum.com. My name is Ross Benjamin. Thank you for joining me. Have a fantastic day. Three is hot. Can he shoot his score?